guys welcome back to my channel and for today's video i'm going to do a full face using the shop miss a line which is their aua studio so if you guys are interested for this one then just keep on watching so first i have some eyebrow products in here so i have their slim uh, eyebrow pencil in here i have in the shade of ebony and dark brown and then i have this one's also this is their new uh, brow gel in the shade of ebony also because they have like uh, out of stock of the dark brown and for today i'm going to use the uh, dark brown here the slim one so this is how much products you can have for this one. We'll see how it is whenever I apply it on my eyebrows. It does have a spoolie in the um, other side of it. So it's much more uh, smaller compared to their uh, sculpting brow pencil. <laughs> This one is hard to use whenever you fill in your eyebrows. And I'm going to use this one. And I bought this one also. This is only a dollar. This is an angle brush. This is an AOA Studio also in E114. This is how it looks like when I um, squeeze the product. sculpting brow still this one is kind of hard to uh, control because the um, product itself for the brow gel is kind of um, it dries so fast but this is how they look like right now and the more I need to practice to use this brow gel on my eyebrows, I guess it's much more pigmented compared to the slim one. The slim one, it can only use as a um, shape your eyebrows first and then I uh, use this one to fill in your eyebrows and it's much more um, uh, darker if you want it to be like that. I have three uh, concealer here and these are like $1.55. So I have three in here. I have the nude, uh, the buff, and the fair ivory. So I don't know which one I'm going to use for uh, cleaning up my eyebrows. It's how they look like. I'm going to try the fair first. And this is how it looks like. So it's a tube. So this one is the fair. The fair ivory. This is nude and this is buff to use the uh, fair light to clean up my eyebrows left over for this one i'm going to put it on my eyelids so i can cover up my um veins right here I know it looks like crazy right now but we'll see later if I can blend this out without even having a difficulty time to do it so I do have some concealers right here this one is the AOA studio this is the um, color pop and I have the um, elf cosmetics which is their uh, 16 hour camo uh concealer and then this one is the uh l'oreal one infallible and this these concealers they have the uh consistency of these two uh elf cosmetics and the uh infallible l'oreal one and This um, and then the texture when you apply or uh, buff the the concealer of the AOA Studio, it does have the texture of the infallible one, which is it does have a tagging, 
a tagging um, tagging motion whenever you apply um, buff it or uh, blend it to use this eyeshadow palette this is their bear and um, bear this one came out I don't know when I'm going to use this one this is the E130 and I'm going to use this one right here as a transition shade next I'm going to use this one right here This one's right here. And then I have this two right here. This is the AOE Studio Velour Eyeshadows. And I have the Lucky Star. And this one is the Holiday. So this is the Holiday. And this is the uh, Lucky Star. Yeah, lucky star. I'm going to use the holiday in here and then in the end, I'm going to use the lucky star. This is how it looks like whenever I grab some. doesn't show so I need to grab it in my um, hand or finger I mean I think these are kind of uh, affordable version of the super, super shock eyeshadows because these ones are only a dollar off camera I'm going to do the other eye and I'll be right back guys now I have this um, AOA Studio Butter Cream Gel Liner I have in the shade of Licorice uh, Red Velvet and Java Chip and last one is in the Pistachio and I believe Licorice is the dark one or black so I'm going to use this one because I forgot to buy their liquid uh, eyeliner this the product Next, I have their Fat Lash in the shade of black. And this is the one. The mascara is like more waxy. So all my lashes are getting clumped together. And my gosh, this I look is such a mess. So we have to continue to test this out. <laughs> I'm going to reuse my false eyelashes because I'm too lazy to get a new one. So from uh, Shop Miss A. And then for the lash glue, I'm going to use this one. This is their Super Strip Lash Adhesive. And it says here it is waterproof, hypoallergenic, no irritation, and it's in clear. This one is $1.88. Uh, this is how it looks like. This one is much more of a... Uh, Oh, this one is uh, this is the kiss one and this is the AOA. It does have five grams or zero point seventeen ounces in here? Compare it to the kiss, it's the same amount. The eyeliner is killing me. I don't know if it's the mascara or the eyeliner, the gel liner that keeps going over here. So I'm going to test this out this month still. So let's go to the face. I'm going to use this one. These are the um the other one is setting spray and the other one is primer spray. Uh these are bundle and I, I don't know how much I got them, but 
one dollar um, one dollar and 88 cents each of them they have in the box and still they are in the plastic when you open them so i'm just gonna go put it right here because i don't want to ruin my eye makeup i'm just gonna go apply it like this no one says you have to just spray it like right away in your face it doesn't have smell it says here absorbs absorbs oil minimize pores um, long lasting and fragrance free you have two of these here these are their AOA studio buildable satin foundation I have in the shade of sand and natural beige these are I think one dollar and eighty eight cents also they're dropping foundation so this one is natural beige it smells good <laughs> and this one is uh, sand so the natural beige is much more in the golden side which is the um, uh, sand is like this so I'm going to use the um, sand because the the natural beige is much more yellow <laughs> compared on my complexion so I'm going to use the sand to just go like you have this uh, microfiber wonder blender and this one it is one dollar and 55 cents and this is how it looks like it's like kind of dupe of the Juno microfiber sponge <laughs> So this is the um, foundation. Nice. I like the foundation so far. Buff. So I'm going to mix the nude and the buff. Next, I have two powders right here. I have in the banana and the uh, brightening. So I'm going to use the brightening under my eyes. shadow palette I'm just going to use this one right here and then for the inner corner I'm going to use this one right here the contour I'm going to use this palette is the Lotus and I believe this one is already discontinued in their website use this one right here Then for the blush, I'm going to use this one. This is the perfect blush in the shade of Kindle. So I'm going to just dab a little bit because this one is really pigmented. For the highlighter, I'm going to try this one. This is the Velour highlighter in the shade of Baby. Uh oh. It's broken. <laughs> Whoa. Hmm. Hmm. It went all the way over there. So it's moving my uh, foundation or my makeup right there right now. I'm 
going to grab some um, another highlighter because instead I have this one this is the AOA Studio Dewy Cream Highlighter in the shade of Silk so we'll try this one instead So we're gonna go to the powder highlighter, I guess. So I'm going to use this one. This is their AOA Studio Paw Paw Highlighter in the shade of Nebula. I'm going to use the uh, guava. And a little bit of brief. And we're going to use the setting spray. This one. It locks in makeup and it says lightweight matte finish, non drying, long lasting. But this one it does have a little bit of scent. I'm going to tell you guys my favorite so far on this products that I did use. First, I like the foundation, they're really nice to blend in the face. Second one I love to use is the primer spray, and it does smooth the foundation and the uh, concealer on my face. Third one is the brightening one. It is really uh, brightening my under eyes and it is so smooth whenever you apply it. And next ones are the concealer. They are really great and the finish uh, texture is great. And like I said, they are like kind of in between of L'Oreal and the Elf Cosmetics Camo Concealer. I like to use this one also. This is the AOA Studio uh, Super Strip Lash Adhesive one or the glue one. And of course, the sponge. I like it. Worst, not love, is the mascara and then the gel liner. The most I don't like is this one. This is the uh, Builder Highlighter. It, the packaging, the packaging it, it's broken and it is very chunky and it will move my base on the face i think that's it for you guys i hope you guys like this video please give this a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and please ring that bell button so that you guys are notified whenever i upload new videos and until next time bye